Hello, here we are. Um, I'm Jackie, as you know, and I wanted to give you a resource that I used that might sound crazy to you, but it works so well and I don't know what I'd do without it. And it is energy medicine for jet lag and time changes, okay? So, especially with an infant, I feel like I'm jet lagged all the time, but our body actually has a big strain on it and we put a big strain on our body when we travel, especially internationally or far distances because of the time change. So here's what you can do. There are a series of pressure points around the body that relate to different organs. What do the organs have to do with jet lag and time changes, Jackie? Well, did you know that each organ has a time of day that it wakes up and goes to sleep? So. Why does that matter? If I'm waking up at 7 a.m. in California, what's waking up right then? My intestines, my stomach. Around 11 or in the morning, then my lungs, then my heart, right? Then my reproductive system. Throughout the day, each organ has a three hour window and they all make sense. For instance, our liver wakes up from one to three in the middle of the night. That's our liver detoxing the day. When we're fast asleep, hopefully, it's detoxing. That's why a lot of people wake up from one to three with like night sweats, especially if you had a heavy meal or you've been drinking. That's why a lot of people have insomnia at that hour because there's a lot of toxins in the liver that their body's processing. Why do we get sleepy in the afternoon? It's because that's when our, lip, our lungs have then gone to sleep from that one to three in the afternoon hour. So when we look at different times of day, we can see logically why things might be waking up or asleep. Most of us wake up and go to the bathroom. That's because our intestines are awake from that time. They start to move. They've been sleepy at night. They kick in and help start to move that food through. So we take our first bowel movement of the day. Then our stomach kicks in because that's when our body biologically gets its first meal. So our, all that energy goes to our stomach. So it's nice and active to process our food. So I will share um, a chart, it's called the orary cycle, and you can see what hours of the day different organs are. So I thought this was about jet lag and travel, Jackie. Why are you talking about organs? Because if I wake up on the Pacific coast at 7 a.m., my digestion is waking up, and then I get on a plane at 7 a.m., and I fly to the east coast. That's five hour distance, or three hour di difference. All of a sudden, my body still thinks it's a certain time, but I'm wanting it to act a certain way, right? So what we can do is our body is strained because now we're waking up when our liver is detoxing. We're waking up and trying to work out and eat when our stomach hasn't even turned on. That puts stress on the body. So I'm not only tired because I woke up three hours before I normally woke up, but I'm tired because my lungs haven't turned on yet. My stomach's not digesting. Now I've indigestion and I'm constipated and I'm wondering why. It's because I'm eating when my stomach isn't on. So that already, I'm, my food, I'm just gonna get indigestion. Um, I'm waking up and why am I not going to the bathroom? I always go to the bathroom right when I wake up. Because your body's intestines aren't gonna turn on for another three hours. So if you're going to the bathroom at lunchtime when you travel, to the East Coast, that makes perfect sense because your organs are still on Pacific time. So what we can do is don't you wish we could just tell the body, hey, hey, stomach, I'm eating now. We're no longer in Pacific time. It's actually 7 a.m. I know you think it's four in the morning, but it's actually 7 a.m. Don't you wish we could tell our organs, hey, time to wake up. Or don't you wish you could say, hey, lungs, I'm really sleepy. Could you turn on and give me some more energy? Um, well, you can, you can tell your organs that, and you can actually like a little clock, like the end of my clock where I can pull this out and change the time. I can do that to my organs. So you're going to use the chart below that I linked. And what you do is on the hour, you massage that pressure point that corresponds to your organ. And what you're doing, it's, it's almost like you wake up at seven your body thinks it's four in the morning and you go oh, large intestine and let me massage that point in my leg, right? Large intestine, 
and you massage it for 20 to 30 seconds. And what you're doing is saying, oh, it's not four in the morning, it's seven. And then the next three hour cycle, so the next thing might be the stomach, we go, ooh, let me rub that stomach meridian. And then you rub that for 20 to 30 seconds on the hour. And again, that's going, oh, my clock got a little slow. We're just reminding it again. Oh, it's actually 10 a.m. It's not 7 a.m. Then it's your lungs, then it's your heart, um, and it goes on. So obviously you're not waking up every three hours in the middle of the night, unless you're a nursing mother, and then by all means check the time and massage whatever organ is supposed to be on in your new time zone. But this is how you can deal with jet lag. It's my favorite way to deal with jet lag. So is this making sense? Your body, because of the orary cycle, um, your circadian rhythm is different organs wake up and fall asleep on a 24 hour cycle. And when you switch time zones, your body is still on your old time zone. So it makes you feel really weird and off because you're not used to waking up when your liver is detoxing. And you're like, oh, why do I just feel so groggy and yucky? It's because you're in a detox. <laughs> Usually you're asleep for that, okay? Um, and what you're gonna do is in your new time zone, you're like, oh, it's 9 a.m., what is that? Oh, that's my stomach. Let me massage them a stomach point. And then at lunch, you're like, oh, right. Okay, what's, what's this? Okay, this is my heart. All right, let me massage my heart point. And what you're doing is you're just telling the body, we're on this time zone now, and that's gonna help your body move time zones really quickly. Here's the thing that I do. If it's a long plane ride, like a five hour plane ride or international, it's a 12 hour plane ride, the whole plane ride, I'm massaging the points at the right hour. So like every two hours, I'll check and I'll massage the right point for the time zone I'm going to. And then when I get to that time zone, I feel so much better. And I've been doing energy medicine the whole time, so that helps as well, okay? And then when you go back, you're gonna massage them to get your body back on the new time zone. So you always do it on the time zone that you're in or traveling to, makes sense? It's great to do it on the flight. And that is how you can deal with jet lag. Also, our body has so many extra toxins from the drinking or the weird food that we eat when traveling. So doing all this massage on your intestines, liver, gall gallbladder, stomach, it's going to help the detox process, which is just a bonus benefit of doing this energy medicine work. So I hope I haven't lost any of you. Um, you know, if five of you wanna just unenroll now because this feels too woo-woo, by all means, go ahead. But this is science, people. So check out the two resources on the orary cycle and the chart for pressure points. It'll show you the times, the meridian, and the pressure points of massage. Um, and if you want, if you're not traveling and you just want to try it, throughout the day, massage the thing that you're doing, and it just helps to strengthen that meridian and helps it do its job better. It's like giving your body a blast of multivitamins that are specific to each organ. Okay. This is how I love dealing with jet lag. When I went to Southeast Asia, it really helped me. I slept through the night, like the second night, which never happens. So since doing this, I sleep through the night when I travel as opposed to being totally off. And it's because my organs are getting on board, okay? Um, you'll see in the meditation this week, it's, it's a mental game where we're talking to the body. That's another thing I love to do on the flight over. Um, um, so check that out. It's a really short one that you could literally pop in in an airplane bathroom. Or you could pop in at the coffee shop when you're just like wanting to be alive and alert in Paris or wherever you're going. And you're like, oh, I just feel so jet lagged. And it's as simple as saying, hey, body, I know you think it's three in the morning, but it is 10 a.m. and we're on an adventure. So you're just telling the body and reminding the body. And it's it's just a way to set intentions and to consciously say, body, I know you feel like crap right now and it feels like 4 a.m., but it's actually noon and we're about to have the best lunch of our life in XYZ. So it's a fun, short meditation. And um, if you feel we're doing it, know that I do it all the times that I travel and it really helps, okay? And if you start yawning during it, it's not because you're tired, it's because you're clearing and shifting that energy, detoxing the body from your travel um, and you're getting your body on board with your time zone so you can actually be present healthy, alert, body, mind, and spirit so you can enjoy your trip and the people you're with. Okay, have fun with this. If you have any questions, drop it in the chat and I hope you like the additional resources that come with this week.